Hey, what's going on everybody? Thank you so much for checking out today's video. Welcome to the Jonathan Thames Music Channel where I want to share my love and passion for music with all of you both as a fan and as a creator. And today we're going to be taking a look at the next Marillion tune on our roster and that is a live performance of the track Gaza. Uh, I very much so enjoyed the first track that I listened to from Marillion, which was The Invisible Man. Uh, if you haven't seen that reaction, I'll post that down in the link below as well, so you can go check that video out. Uh, I'm very much so looking forward to diving into this track and seeing what it has to offer, so without any further delay, let's go ahead and hit that play button and see what it's all about. Cool way to divide up time on that vocal melody. And that rhythm is cool. I love that. I love the climbing intensity. Nice transition into something a little more peaceful and less intense. It's like the song has taken flight. Back into the descent of darkness. I love the timbre of his voice. It's so deliberate. Creates a really powerful vibe. We will skip the road. We will play outside. Be careful. We will paint and draw. We will say our prayers. I love that deliberate shift in emotion. That's awesome. Going from that real celestial heavenly feel down to this, back into the heavy and dreary. Got a very theatrical presence in the way that he delivers his vocal style. I really, really enjoy it. It's very fitting to the music. That's really cool. Woo! It's 
the sonic texturing of those guitar squeals. Oh, that fits in the right way, man. That's great. Try this three-minute shower routine oh, to quickly get rid on, of toenail man. fungus, itchy skin, Ads and smelly BS. feet. Yes. Don't care about toe fungus while I'm trying to listen to Marillion. Come on. love that subtle bass melody. I probably wouldn't have even been able to detect that had I not seen the video. You ask for trouble if you stray too close to the wall. My father died feeding the bird. That bass climb, that was very melodic right there. That was a cool key modulation right there. I liked that a lot. For every hot head stove, ten come back. For every hot head stove, a hundred come back. God, man, he has got such a fantastic voice. The only comparison I can make is he reminds me a lot of Adrian Ballou. Which I know I said that a lot in my last reaction as well, but it rings true. <laughs> I love how locked in to the musical sensibilities the bassist is. He's really, really good at grabbing onto the melodic textures. For 13 years, the roads have all been closed. We're isolated, we denied medical supplies. Fuel and work is scarce, they build houses on our very nice bass overdrive. And that, that line is just killer. That was an awesome chord change there. You saw the witch. You reap the whirlwind. It is said when people know they have no future. Man. That driving slide bass part with those ringing out keyboard chords, man. So dark. Ooh. Really, really nice bass riff at the end there. That was awesome. Jumping into a little bit more of the electronic side of Prague, more modern side. Kind of akin to King Crimson's construction of light phase and onward. Ooh, 
sounds nice and eerie. Creates kind of a classically spooky vibe. Listen to how controlled the dynamics of his slaps are. It's really, really percussive, but it's not overbearing, and it just fits in so well with what's happening in the amb ambiance <laughs> right now. It's fantastic. solid dude i really really love just how again his musical sensibilities are delivered he's so polyrhythmic and jazz oriented but while keeping it very much so pocketed into the halftime like that. Perfectly accompanies the kind of drag of this of this section of the song. That's great. That guitarist has really, really, really good... He knows when to utilize the right effects and the right amount of delay. He knows the right amount of tonal texturing and coloring to utilize to help accompany what's going on in the music around him without drawing too much attention to himself. Everyone deserves a chance to feel the future Just my But anyway you look at this Whichever point of view For us to have to live like this It just ain't right It just ain't right it's Dinner Oh my lord, you know what just it's ain't more right than just a meal Are these ads? Every night. Come on It's a chance to slow down this is out of hand. The polyrhythmic feeling that's created right there by the guitar rhythm versus the rhythm of all the other instrumentation. That was awesome. So good with his singing guitar lines. Again, very David Gilmore esque.
love how the intensity builds every time he delivers that, that or, or at least I think that was only the second time that he delivered that line, but you could hear the amount of intensity increasing from the first time to the second time. It's like a nightmare It's like chain to words Again, his vocal phrasing rhythmically is so interesting over the rhythm that's put in place by the keyboards. That's awesome. I like that bass tone, those chords. It's like a nightmare Rooted From this small Strip of land It's how shit That slide guitar part is perfect It just blends in perfectly with that It's like a nightmare Rooted From this small Strip of land It's how shit Call and answer exchange between the lead and backing vocals. That's awesome. That was the perfect ending, man. That was the perfect ending. All right. Man, that was fantastic. All right, so that was Marillion with a live performance of Gaza. And once again, I thoroughly enjoyed myself with that track, much like I did with The Invisible Man. Again, if you haven't had the chance to go check out that reaction, I'll post a link to that in the description below as well. Um, with this track in particular, I really, really just enjoyed all of the transitions, and I loved the the intentional drastic shifts going from that more peaceful and heavenly and almost flighty vibe to that very heavy and driven and dark intense vibe that they were going with especially right there at the beginning and then of course when they transitioned into more the middle part of the song where everything was much more open and ambient and they allowed that part to build up in intensity into its own thing. Just, I loved the overall structure of the song. I thought it was fantastic. And once again, every single musician in the band really, really demonstrated their precision and their deliberacy in that not a single member of the band finds a spot to overplay. That isn't to say that there aren't places for improvisation, but every single 
member in the band is disciplined enough to do only what is necessary to help accompany the piece and to help accompany the emotions that are building in the song. Nobody takes it upon themselves to go over the top showy. And I think that that overall benefits the the overall symphonic nature of pieces like this. And I, I just, I'm blown away by the musical sensibilities displayed by every single musician in this band. I very much so, again, had a great time with this, and I'm looking forward to diving into the next Marillion track, along with many other Marillion tracks. Just to uh, be perfectly transparent, there probably will be some Marillion tracks that I decide to go ahead and listen to on my on my private time and my free time. But that being said, I want to do some more reactions to Marillion for you guys. So please, if there are any more reactions that you would like to see me do to Marillion songs, please go ahead and leave me those suggestions in the comments below. If you are enjoying this video, please go ahead and give it a like and please consider subscribing if you don't want to miss out on any of the other awesome music related content that I have coming up here on the channel. I do ask humbly that you bear in mind that the majority of these reactions won't be monetized due to copyright claims. So if you would like to be generous and make a small donation to the channel, you can do so by making a donation to the paypal.me slash Jonathan Tames music link listed down in the description below. Also in the description below, there are some affiliate links. If you're interested in checking out any of the gear that I use to make all of these videos, with. If you decide to purchase anything through those links, I will receive a small commission from that, and that does help to go support the channel, so thank you in advance for that. I want to thank you uh, again for watching today's video. I hope that everybody out there is doing well, and I'll see you all in the next video.